Welcome back to AIML's channel, everybody. We're sitting here once again with Tim. We want to run through some of the company's recent updates. But first off, Tim, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great, Michael. Great to be back on your show. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. It's always great to have you on. So tell us what's been going on lately. It seems like July is just about over. We're going to be running into August here soon. What's been happening? Uh, it's been a busy time for us. Um, one uh, one point, which is you know more of a, an administrative point, but, it, but it's important to mention, and that's that we've uh, received our DTC eligibility. And without getting too deep in the, in the weeds with your, your viewers and listeners, what that simply means is that um, the, uh, the process for, uh, for brokers uh, and investors in the US uh, to buy our, our stock, which is now trading on the OTCQB uh, uh, board, um, is, is much easier because we've received our eligibility from, uh, from DTC. So that, that's an important step forward for the US-based investors who, uh, who are interested in our story. Um, on the, uh, the business side, and far more exciting, is uh, an acquisition that we made recently in a company called uh, tech to health And uh, if you've got a minute, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about that one. <laughs> yep, go ahead and dive in. Okay. All right. So tech to health is uh, it's a, a digital healthcare innovator with uh, a basket of wellness health tech products and services that are designed to improve an individual's mental well-being. It's a company that focuses on mental health. Um, and what a lot of people don't understand is that we are now faced with a new pandemic throughout the world, and that's a mental health pandemic. And part of that is, uh, is as a direct result of the, the, uh, the, the COVID pandemic that's been going on. In fact, in a recent survey, a very large survey that was conducted globally, nearly half of all employees globally feel that their mental health uh, state, of, state of being is at some reduced state from where it was uh, compared to a year ago. In other words, everybody feels that they're suffering from you know, some sort of of uh, uh, degrading mental health. Um, and that comes through <clears throat> in the statistics. <clears throat> if you look at incidents of everything from suicide to depression, to anxiety, to uh, drug ab abuse, spousal abuse, and more, um, all those statistics have been rising dramatically over the last year. And you can understand why it's been an extremely um, difficult, frustrating, um, um, uh, um, anxiety-inducing uh, year for, for everyone. And so uh, mental health is um, the issue that uh, has you know, come to the forefront yeah. uh, as of late. And Tech to Health has the ability, uh, through a unique blend of uh, proprietary digital assets, remote live counseling and, uh, and classes, and physical wellness centers to help address these uh, mental health issues. So it's a really exciting company and we're really pleased to be a part of it. Yeah, I mean, um, to be completely honest, I'm surprised virtually everybody isn't at a slightly lower mental state because of the stress from COVID and so on. We're all social creatures. You either had to work during the pandemic or you were laid off and you didn't know you were going to be going back to work. So, and you were kept away from your family and everything. So services like this that really push and give people access to mental care is something that should be very much applauded right now. Yeah, absolutely. And um and of course, the proof is in the pudding. Um, what uh, Tech to Health is doing is more than just the concept. In their first month of going live with their new platform, um, they were able to secure uh, three contracts with major corporations and insurers that um, collectively are, are projected to, uh, to generate about $5 million US worth of uh, revenue over the life of those contracts. Um, and that's in the first month of, of uh, going live with the platform. Um, so, uh, so they're, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're showing that uh, uh, this is more than just a good concept. Um, there's uh, very large major corporations out there that uh, are interested in using these services immediately. Wonderful. Yeah, it sounds like they're doing great. But Tim, is there any other updates going on with AIML? Anything else new? Um, we are working towards some other acquisitions, and uh, uh, 
again, stay tuned. Um, there's nothing that I can um, uh, divulge here today, but, uh, but we are getting close um, on at least one other acquisition. It's a company that I've been working with for uh, well over a year now in, in conducting due diligence and uh, negotiating uh, a, a possible acquisition. And um, I would uh, uh, suggest that we're, um, you know, weeks, not months away from having something uh, uh, finalized with them. It's looking uh, very imminent and, and very exciting for us. So stay tuned for some more acquisitions. Wonderful. Well, you guys heard the man. Stay tuned. We'll get you some news on that as soon as it comes in. But Tim, you know what? Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for sharing. And everyone, thank you for watching. Any questions, send them over to us. We'll be happy to dive into them. But until then, see you next time.